Hello and welcome to my website training series. In this, this is my third lecture and I'm going to cover Adobe Muse CC 2015. And in this third lecture, we're going to add slideshows, a hero slideshow into the website. Now, just for you to recall, we were working on this specific website. And uh, just to show an illustration of how a hero slideshow looks like, it's very common nowadays in almost all the websites to have a banner which runs across the page and if this is going to if this is going to be the overall size of the browser it sometimes covers the entire length from left to right in my website however it's going to cover only a certain area and the rest of it will be filled by the browser fill if you as you can see the images along with the pictures is sliding from left to right you can always click and it will go to that specific page and you can jump to another page as well. The idea is that this entire approach is different from adding an image. The text you see on the top of here is not an image, it is a text. So there's a specific way using Muse you can actually create a slideshow not using the widget slideshow but something else because this gives you the flexibility of adding text which can become searchable, it will no longer be a part of image and that is for better search engine optimization. In fact, you can also create a hyperlink here. I haven't so far and I don't intend to, but you can. Now let's go back to Muse and figure out how this can be done. So far, this is how my page looks like. i am just opened the home page. It's got no banner. The idea is to add a banner right here. All right. Now, as I mentioned, you do not have to use the slideshow widget which is pretty much you will use by default if you've been told to create an add slideshow but that is not what we're going to do we can actually go to composition this is the widget library and most possibly you would have actually used this basic slideshow or a full screen slideshow but we're going to be using a composition in composition you have all these options we're going to use something called tooltip all right before we go there, let's have a rough idea as to how long we want and how big we want the slideshow to be. If you see this 12 column approach here with the gutter, with the gutter space, this is pretty much the edge of my website. All my content should go inside this particular area. Now as I, meant, as I showed you, this is how it looks like. I should have this, I should have the slideshow, some text and the rest of the content should follow below here. All right. Now I have made this website on uh, on Photoshop and as you can see from the ruler panel here if I give it on 80 uh, around 60 pixels for the header or 70 pixels rather then this entire banner would be around 500 pixels that's what I'm going to do now going back to Muse and since I want this not on the A master but on a specific page I will be putting it in home page all these elements as you can see on top is coming from my header a master all right now let me drag this tooltip here and you can pretty much see once i drop it i get all these options okay before i go ahead and resize it according to my needs let me first fix this as far as the position is concerned i want it stacked i want it on top of each other show target on rollover on click on rollover i have to put it on click hey hide target none i don't want to hide this target ever transitions i can either either fade it or i can do a horizontal scroll so i'm going to add horizontal scroll transition speed now it is 0.5 seconds very less i want it to be four seconds every four seconds it'll, it'll change when these things get loaded with my website i don't want it to start as blank so i obviously want to have autoplay so autoplay every four seconds and once it gets over, it will resume. Okay, I can also select this and choose two seconds. Let me just give it four seconds. I don't have to click on play once. Okay, I, I, I enable swing swipe. Very important if you if my uh, website is viewed on a mobile surface, I should allow it to also swipe. I can do all this. I can show previous button, close button. I don't need it because I'm going to use this boxes here itself, and that's all. That's all my selection options as far as the composition is concerned. Now, I'm going to drag this to the very edge of the page right below my header. Okay, I'm going to click it 
and I'm going to make it bigger. I can specify the size in different ways. So this is the size of the overall box and I want it for until it reaches 600 here. This is the size of my overall slideshow and I'm going to just bring this three things right in the very bottom in the very center all right i'm going to add one more so here 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 i get one more of them i can make sure that these are aligned so i'll go to the align option i'll go to window and i'll go to align and i will distribute it equally so i'm going to use this option distribute horizontal centers they all will be next to each i have four images i'm going to add all four now I'm going to delete all this because I don't want any of this element. So this is my first trigger. It's my second trigger. I'll delete this as well. But before I do that, let me just tell you that when you click on this, you have this target and you have the overall box. As you can see, the box has got rounded corners. I want to change them. So please be, if you're not familiar working on Muse, please be very careful how it works. First of all, let me get this and lift it a little up because I want the idea mind field to come below it. All right, here it goes. Now this is my box and it's selected right now. As you can see, there are rounded corners. I will make it a rectangle edge rather than a rounded edge. I'll click further. Click here, I'll click once and twice to select it. Click here. It's, all, it's a new button, so obviously it has got none. So I'll go to each target, then click on each box, and make sure I remove the rounded corners. Same goes here. All right, everything is rectangle here as well. I'll change it to rectangle ends. Now I can see pretty clearly that each of this does not have a rectangle. I'll also have to remove the stroke. As you can see, it has each, one, each one has a stroke. So remove the stroke, you have to click on this none to remove the stroke. Same goes for the rest as well. You'll select, you go to stroke, you choose none. You select, you select, you select again, you go to stroke and you choose none. You select again, you select it, and you remove the and check it to none. So now pretty much I'm set to actually place my images. Okay, so I'll go to the first trigger point. I'll click on the first box and I'll go to fill. I don't, you put it any color, but what, what do I do instead? I use, and this, this is called add image. I click on add image. It goes to my folder where I have all the images. If you remember, my first image was this. So I'll click on open. It gets, but it's not loading to the entire frame. So I choose fitting, scale to fill. And you can always position it according to the center, like here, or like on top, whichever suits you well. All right. Now I'll let, let's put the let's put the text. Now what I have done is I've already typed the text. It's much easier. It gives you less trouble here. Okay. This is my first text, business off. It's in white, so you can't see it. I'll select them. I'll group them together. It's all grouped. I'll copy. I'll come back to my home. Where is it? Yes. Here. And I'll paste it. You can see it's pasted. I have to just position it according to my requirement. And I'm done. I'll go back to the next. It is empty. I'll go to fill. I'll go to add image. And if you remember, I will just confirm it from my Photoshop file here. The next was the lesson on with the bird so I'll choose the bird this one open da -da. I have to make sure I have to select the target this is where I want to bring right it bought it here so please be very careful I'll select my target then I'll select my rectangle then I'll go to fill then I'll go to add image I'll go for my bird image right here uh, so that's how the image comes but I can always So this is the bird image and uh, I have to again fix scale to fill. I can align it accordingly if I want. I'll, I'll use it like this way. That's better, it gives me a lot of space on top. So this is done. 
and now I want the text. So I'll go for my text. It is the lesson on. So I'll, this is already grouped. I'll copy it and I'll copy it and I bring it to my website here, home page here, and I'll paste it. And I can align it accordingly. Yeah, this looks fit. All right. And I paste it, and that's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. Okay, now this is good. Let's see how it looks in preview. That's my first slideshow. Okay. My second, my third, my fourth. Okay, now let's look at states. I click on the button. Okay, and I can actually click on the states of right here. So by default, normal it looks like this. I can choose this and I can actually reduce the opacity to 50. Okay, by default it looks like that. Let me zoom in so it'll get a better idea. All right, so default rollover, I want it to have a particular color. So I can go to fill and I can choose my this color, okay? So that's rollover. Mouse down, I can remove the opacity altogether. And active, I can make it black. So fill, so fill is black. Okay, so this is how it looks normal rollover mouse down active okay same i'll do in every buttons so now that we have finished with all the states for my buttons if i go to preview this is how it looks like and if you look at the buttons all the four states that we mentioned right from the very beginning from active to mouse over to rollover everything is working here i've added this additional text here you can always add yours I'm going to just add some more content below in my in my website here. I'm going to add all this text. And when I meet you next, I'm going to show you how you can create this thumbnail and also add a CSS or HTML5 animation. Now that's great because you can add animation on news as well. And that's going to be the topic of my next lecture. Thank you. Mm -hmm.